All righty, so let's talk about that minigame last night. I have not opened my screen up since uh, like 11.30, so I expect to see the payouts. Let's find out. I'm going to loading screen up here. And uh, as I had said on the community page, I had finished second place last night in the minigame. Yeah, no joke. I actually pulled it off, and there it is. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what happened here in the minigames and how I managed to get second place. I'm going to go to the leaderboard here. And you notice that even for a six-hour um, event, we had a lot of wins for this one. And part of that is because the matchmaking is a little bit screwed up. Um, I think that was by their own admission they're trying to fix it. But basically, matchmaking is completely random right now. Typically, after a certain point, you will match up with players who have similar wins to you or are of a similar ranking. So at my level in golf, I would wind up facing someone like Zeph or Land God or Harley Man. However, I ended up playing a bunch of players who have like, you know, maybe 60 wins. Maybe like there were a couple too that had like no wins. So part of that is because of that matchmaking is why you've seen a slightly higher pot than normal and obviously much higher wins. And honestly, that might be sort of the saving grace of this minigame. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying that this is the worst minigame ever, but I think that with the starting pot only at 40,000 for a six, well, a six hour event, um, it would have been a lot worse, in my opinion, if it was just um, the normal matchmaking. And part of that is because a lot of people would quit afterwards. And also, there would be a lot more uh, losing from the higher up players. Not just myself, but uh, you notice, like, you know, players like uh, Zeph and Land God also, you know, would have been kind of fighting a little bit better for the top spot because there'd be a lot less wins to go around uh, between a lot of us. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of math too as to what I did for this. So 811 Atlas bucks was how much I spent for this mini game. Yeah, I didn't really lose that many games. Um, you really couldn't with 401 wins over 360 minutes. Uh, so anyway, 811 Atlas Bucks was how much I had spent. Um, I had won 2,750 Atlas Bucks. So if we subtracted 2,750 from 811, that gives us 1,939 Atlas Bucks profit. Now I did in fact, let me go to the custom board. So I don't have this screen optimized for the beer money portfolio, so I'm going to move this a little, I mean the uh, Atlas Bucks uh, daily recorder that I have, but I'm going to move this over here and you can see that I had just enough Atlas Bucks stocked up for this event and I thought I would need it just in case I was going to go for the leaderboard or I was going to go for top 25. Matter of fact, I expected that I was going to need to use about 500, 600 for the top 25. Um, if I was going to do a top 25 with Mulligan. Uh, however, if I go back to my uh, screen here and view all winners, if you take a look at the top 25, I actually wasn't too far off. Top 25 was 236 wins. That's an insane amount of wins. Um, by the way, uh, Don't Dox Me, who did finish 25th here, was one of the two players who beat me and kind of knocked me off my perch a little bit. And I think that loss and the loss to Colts Chick 23, which I lost to her like twice, two or three times in this event, pretty much sealed my fate. And that plus some connection issues at about uh, 640 Eastern pretty much sealed my, you know, having to surrender to Mr. Everything so, yeah, I was hoping for that gold, but, you know, it's fine. 
Um, but with that 2750, we're going to be doing a lot of spins today. So I'm going to do all those spins at the very end. Should I do it at the very end? Yeah, I'm going to do that at the very end. I'm going to go ahead first and talk about the beer money, you know, well, where I'm at at the end of week two. So this is going to be the end of day 14. Uh, I know today's supposed to be day 15, but this is going to be the end of day 14, the end of week two. I am just recording this very early in the morning. So there were three cash outs that I had over the last few days. Um, I got a lot of games done with Benjamin and managed to cash out $31.13. That was, you know, that, that was uh, just a coincidence that it happened to put me up to 80 bucks. And then I had a $5 gift card from Cashwalk to make that 85. And then a $5 gift card, I forgot to add it here, from Microsoft Rewards to bring me to $90. Now we've made enough that on the next uh, log video that I do for this experiment, we're gonna be talking about secure credit cards. And we're gonna be talking about shopping around for it and seeing what the best secure credit card would be um, for this situation and for how long we're gonna be needing that secure credit card in order to build up credit and eventually get our own credit card. So, Watch out for that. Um, in the meantime, we have 28 parcels to spin today. So let's go do that. So the normal wheel that I use for several spins probably is not going to be good to manage here. I went ahead and I got this picker wheel instead because it does track how many times you land on a particular slice. So I can just add them up and that will give me the amount of commons, rares, epics, and legendaries that I have. And I have 20 slices here. 10 of them are common, 6 of them are rare, 3 of them are epic, and 1 is legendary. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle them Shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right, does this look like it's shuffled well enough? I'm gonna shuffle one more time. Uh, I, I think it's pretty well shuffled. And we're gonna do 28 spins, so let's spin the wheel. I'll show you the, there we go. I'll turn off the sound after like the sixth or seventh spin if you want. And the first one's gonna be a common. And I'll show you the, uh, what, what we can do here, you can click on count plus one and it will show up here, if I can do it here, of count plus one, like that. I'm gonna move this over here a little bit so that way you all can see the scorecard. All right, let's do another spin. You have 28 of these to go through. Actually, I'm gonna make it, tw yeah, 28. The second one's gonna be a rare, count plus one. Okay, uh, I feel like I'm back at work when we, when they try to pick who's going to lead the stand-up for the uh, for the day, third spin. <laughs> All right, we got a common. All right, fourth. That's a common. That's three commons already. Ew. Three commons and a rare. Spin number five is a common. That's four commons and a rare. So what's interesting is I got a legendary, but it was... It was off camera, I guess. Five commons and a rare. I got, I got a legendary. I put it on the community page, and it was off camera, and that was the first legendary. I haven't gotten one since, so... Five commons and a rare. We got a sixth common. Wow. Okay, let's do the seventh. Uh, six commons and a rare, so this is the eighth spin. Alright, that's seven. Um... I'll do a couple more spins, but I think that this might get a little bit boring. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the full uh, set of spins kind of just off camera. And I might, I might save it for another video if you want. 
but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tally up the total amount of commons, rares, epics, and legendary parcels, and we're going to add them to the simulation. And uh, once, and again, if you want to see all the spins, I'll have it recorded and I'll put it out in a video later on. So, yeah. Um, so, where we're at right now, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. All right. So we wind up with 16 commons, eight rares, three epics, and one legendary. Let's add it to our simulation now. Okay, so let's go ahead and add on 16 commons to make 23, eight rares to make 18, three more epics, giving us four epics and a legendary. And we have 47 parcels, 15 days in. Now granted, this is a little bit unfair because I did just finish second place in a minigame. Um, and because of that, uh, next the next racer, I'm not going to count towards the uh, simulation. Uh, part of that is because, well, I'm not quite very good at it. And two, I'm going to assume that, you know, I'm going to need to take a break anyways from said... Uh, from said simulation for a while anyway but uh over 47 parcels we have 17.1 cents per day and next super rent boost event which should be the following thursday i'm looking at 41 cents that i'd be able to get and so we're gonna have a take a little bit of time now we're gonna start grinding a little bit more uh, over the next few days, and I probably won't be counting any mini games. The fishing one is going to have such low profits that I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, racing, I'm not super good at. And then uh, we'll talk about if I'm even going to count the uh, next golf one, which should be, you know, on the weekend. So that's where we're at right now with this. Um, and that's pretty much the video, guys. So uh, let me know uh, how you did in the minigame and what you think of the minigames right now. If you prefer this matchmaking or uh, the one that we previously had. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun, guys. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll put up, if you guys want me to put up the full video of all 28 spins, I'll put that up in a separate video. It's like seven or eight minutes long. Um, I'll do that sometime. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. We're getting pretty close to 1,500 subscribers. I'm not going to do anything special for 1,500. I just wanted to mention that. Uh, do I want to do a road to anything on this? Uh, road to 2K? Mm, I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, let's just kind of enjoy and make a little bit more money, all right? So... Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time.